What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. EA have released the first or the only Champions League moments card. It is a Manalas card. It is actually quite affordable um, to be perfectly honest and I like that. Uh, so today, no base icon upgrades today. Uh, there's a fuck swap player there. There's sadly no new icons. I don't know what they're doing with the icons. I don't understand why we don't have yet the first Optimus Prime icon. Like, are they waiting until all of the Prime icons are completely done? Is it going to be 18 days until we see the first prop, pr first Optimus Prime icon? Or are they waiting until the base icon upgrade is done? Um, because then if you didn't do that, the price of base icons is going to go through the roof because potentially the Optimus Primes are going to be worth a whole bunch. I don't know. However, for Costas and Manolas, uh, first things first, this is why I feel like we didn't get Champions League stuff on Tuesday. Because the team requires only an 80 rated squad, but 11 Champions League cards. And of course, me being like, oh, didn't need Champions League cards. I got rid of most of my blue cards <laughs> recently. Um, so that's I'm going to struggle to build that, that's for sure. Uh, you then need a Roma squad. Two Roma players, 84 rated, 80 chemistry. Nice and cheap. And a Serie A squad. Two Serie A players, five nation max, 85 rated, 80 chemistry. Syria and Roma, both grindable from the 81 to 86 packs, and then putting those into the Premier League, La Liga, sorry, Premier League, Bundesliga, and Syria upgrades, uh, which is quite nice. <laughs> I think the grind is very, very, uh, very cool. I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. Uh, Manalas, according to Fatbin right now, doesn't have a price tag, but it even gives decent rewards. A small prime gold players pack, not a great reward. A mega pack and a rare players pack. So it gives almost 100,000 coins of rewards. And it will be quite an expensive SBC if you buy the players due to the fact that... Um, due to the fact that... Uh, what is it due to the fact? Due to the fact that... Ooh, no 80 rated. Well, not many. but Yeah, due to the fact that... Um, <clears throat> You can grind it, but if if you buy it, if you buy it, it's going to be mad expensive. So don't buy it, grind it, okay? Now we only need eighty-five chemistry here, but we do need an eighty, um, an eighty-rated squad. What's really cool, though, <clears throat> excuse me, is I have seventy chemistry already, and now I just need to find some higher-rated cards. We can pop him in, and him in, and him in potentially. Uh, if we pop him there. Swap those two around. Put Fernando here, which we can convert <clears throat> if we need to, but we don't. So we're already 90 rated and 78 rated. I'm going to be able to do this <clears throat> for quite cheap. Excuse me with my hoarse voice. Um, not there, not there, not there, not there. Oh, actually, we might have... Uh, we've got a couple of blues here. I very much doubt we're going to get up to 80 rated with uh, with a 78 rated. We're we're at seventy nine rated though, so we don't need too much more. Um, let's look at Vanekin. Let's get him in as well. Obviously, no Japanese cards. Liganos, I will have some higher rated dudes here. Oh, yeah, untradeable as well. Even better. Is it even better? Just as good anyway. Um, so let's pop a seventy nine in and see if that's going to click us up. No. And is an eighty rated going to click us up? No. But what we can do is change him in for him. That didn't work for chemistry. So we actually need, we're going to need quite a high rated card or a, a succession of higher rated cards. So let's go and find ourselves a uh, Russian league. Do I have a Marlos or something like that? Akin Fave and Hudez. Now is Hudez going to be enough? No, I'm so close. It's frustrating. Um, there you go. So I need, I need to upgrade to an 80. I just need the chemistry. Um, we're getting close though. We are getting very close. So if, if, or I just need like a, probably an 83 or an 84 from... Do I have a Greek League player? There's a couple there. They're low rated. Dutch League. We should have a few good ones here. All right, Ziyech is going to be the one for us. We're going to throw him in here. And that's it. So there you go. Job done. Um, now, I think most of these are untradeable. He's tradable. Um, there you go. Just two tradables. And because they're 76 rated, I bet these have gone through the roof for price though. No, they haven't, although they're going extinct. That's very interesting that they're going extinct because we, you actually might have a problem with supply on some of these cards. But that's our first squad done, guys. Nine untradables for me and two tradables. We get a small prime gold players pack. Looks like I have some items to deal with. What do I have to deal with? Oh, super important. Really glad. Um, 
But anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the content, drop a thumbs up. Would be very much appreciated. We will have a look at Manalas's in-game stats afterwards. We get bored out of this. That's what's up. Let's go. Love that. Italiano, center mid, Jorginho. Uh, very nice indeed. He is worth right now, I think, about like 9,000 coins. So from the small prime gold players pack, yes, very nice indeed. Let's get him, get him gone. Let's, oh, it's going to bug out, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, let, let's let's get him done and, and take some coins. Hey, I don't, again, I don't know what the price is currently, exactly, specifically, but to get 10,000 coins back is beautiful. Coming in at 270k. The Syria squad is coming in at 160,000 coins. Now, it does offer a 50k pack back and can be grinded very, very comfortably, especially with the Syria 81 plus. Um, but that is still a relatively expensive squad. See, if these guys were tradable for me, that would have been beautiful because they would have been crazy expensive right now. Sadly, none of it is tradable. Uh, let's go to no filter and see what I've got. Have I got any blues here anyway? Although I have got an 89 uh, right mid Jao Cancelo now. My Pier Tech got upgraded as well. My Scriniar got upgraded, which is nice. My Jekko Inform got upgraded. Uh, and my 78 Pier Tech ones to watch there upgraded too. Um, now we've obviously got more than enough players here that we can use and throw in. Uh, it's not going to be a problem. Um... The upgraded Allen, a load of 83s with the other stuff that we've got going on is fine. I don't sadly don't have any uh, tradable blue cards from this league, which does suck. Now we need an 85 rated squad. So if we throw in a few 86s, we might be able to get away with mostly 84s from that point onwards. And it only requires 80 chemistry. However, we can have same nation maximum five. Uh, so let's put Allen in there. Let's put Lucas Leiva in as well. That's already 69 chemistry. Let's put Castellejo in there and swap those two around. That gives us 75 chemistry. Let's pop Mandzukic in as well. That puts us to an 84 rated squad with 85 chemistry. Is he going to be enough? That's still only an 84. So we're going to have to pop... Let's pop an 87 in instead of an 86. That's still not enough. So let's try an 87 over an 84. That's still not enough. Okay, and then another 84 over another 83. That's still not enough. Jeez. Uh, another 87 over another 86. That's enough. There we go. So now we just need to get the chemistry, which is going to be done quite simply. Uh, maybe just by that. That takes me to 79. Um, and then maybe we have one chem point bonus here. We don't. What I'm going to have to do for that extra chem point is convert um, Alan down to a CDM. And then that's one. That's that one done. Now it is coming in at two seventy to start, and it usually usually starts high. Yeah, it's already down at two fifty now. So, and and I think this is probably where it'll where it will like sit around. It will sit around the two fifty mark, in my opinion. Maybe a little bit lower. But like I say, you can icon craft this or grind craft whatever you want to call the the crafting method for relatively cheap. No walkout for us out of the fifty k pack, but boards, which is very nice. Are we going to get some good boards out of this French cam? An, an 85, that is fantastic. Fakir is very nice. Again, because of the, the price of 85s and 84s right now, so it's a good amount of coins back. I think it's like a 20k card. Uh, we get an 84 in there as well. So Fakir is coming in at, yeah, like maybe 17,000 coins. Uh, he's a duplicate for me, so he can go. Uh, I'll take 17k back off of him. Leno's probably like 7 or 8k right now. He's 10k with not a lot, no, none under. So he's actually closer to 9k right now. So we'll list him up for 9k. We've got some spare Prem players and uh, some other players as well. We're going to put Bolly up. We're going to put Laurent up. We're going to put Plea up and Morales and Lecomte. Because I want to save those for the upgrade packs when all of the upgrade packs are out. And that leaves us needing one more squad to build. The Roma squad. It's only an 84 rated squad, this squad. So 100k or so if you've got no players and if you're purchasing them. However, you do need two Roma players. I probably just used two Roma players, didn't I? Uh, who do we have available? Kolarov and Fazio. Uh, not bad. Do I have any untradeable weight threes here? I've got the blue cards, but now I want to keep those blue cards because although I had initially thought that they were absolutely useless, turns out not anymore. So that's our two Roma players. And then for the rest of it, we're going to go to... Do I have a lot of untradeable Prem players off of the back of those Premier League packs? I probably do. If he wants to come in. I know I've got that Lukaku that I don't mind using. Edison, I'm definitely happy to use. That will allow us to use 84s and 83s. He I can use, he I can use, 
and then some 82s and again some untradeable Premier League blues as well I'm gonna have to go through and sell all my blues and, and have a look at what I've got um, available but this this might be enough because of an 86 an 85 and an 84 I will probably actually have to turn in a few extra 83s, um, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what we got. We're gonna see how far off the mark we are. Um, we're gonna be absolutely fine for chemistry. Uh, we're already up to the 80 chemistry, so it is literally now just the rating, and that's already an 82 rated. So probably an 83. Yeah, so it's 83 rated. So I just need to get myself um, another 83, 84, 85 to pop in real quick, just so we can have a look at uh, what's available. Look how many untradeable blues I have. I've actually got a lot. I didn't really get rid of as much as I thought then. So Serie A, we know we don't have much going on there. Bundesliga, I could have a couple Bundesliga players. We've got that Witzel card. Very happy to use him if he boosts us straight up to the 84. Uh, we've got an 84 and an 83 here. And again, loads more of those blue cards, which is fantastic. So let's just try these. Uh, let's put Javi Martinez in there. That still keeps us as an 83. Let's put Witzel in there. That still keeps us as an 83. Let's put Javi Martinez there. There you go. That's the 84. Uh, and that's the chemistry, and that's it done. Mostly, uh, in fact, all untradeables other than the Roma players there. So very, very happy with that. Managed to do that segment for, you know, effectively opportunity cost of the cards. And there is the Manalas, guys. I do quite enjoy the card design. I will say, though, in keeping with what we've had already in the game, this isn't a stupidly high-rated card. Now, the stats might tell a different picture. You know, the in-game stats might be uh, completely different. And we will take a look at the in-game stats on Fuckbin in just a second. Um, I mean, they do look... I mean, he's got 91 reactions and 85 composure. He's six foot two. He's got low high work rates, which is absolutely perfect. Two star, two star it does suck. But what's... I'll tell you what I don't like about this, right? This is a... This is a... This is a moments card. This, this is a card that says, you know, here's something amazing you did. Here's a special card for it. The saddest part is, now I know he's a centre-back, so he's unlikely to get many informs. The saddest part is he does have an 86 inform, which is two pace, two defending, and three physical behind this card. So should he get an 87 rated inform, uh, you're looking at a very close card. And his 86 rated inform is like 110k tradable. So his 80, if, should he get an 87 inform, you're probably looking at like 180 to 200k tradable and then an 88 inform or any other special card that might come any cup game card any team of the week any uh hero card or i don't know maybe they've got another sbc card planned I, I don't know you know maybe a team of the season card whatever may come for him it would make this 88 obsolete quite quickly with that being said his stats are phenomenal and with an anchor chem style he goes up to a 94 centre-back. I'll tell you why I'm not overly keen on that. Let's show you here. So here is Manalas here. 93 sprint speed, perfect. 87 acceleration, great. Defending is really, really high. Interceptions and heading are great. Um, obviously, his reactions and composure are fantastic. And his defensive stats are great. That's him with an anchor. He goes up to a 93.6. When you compare that to David Luiz, uh, who is 89 rated... And was is about the same. I don't know if he's still there as the SBC, but he's about the same price as Manalas is. He has a little less reactions, but once you apply the anchor chem style to him, he goes up to a 96.4 rated centre back. So he's a considerably better centre back. Um, you know, th this David Luiz, I think, with the Sentinel is 97 rated. Yeah, he, he, he's this is an uh, as close to an end game centre back you're going to get for 300,000 coins. Whereas with Manalas, I, I, I think. I think I think it's not worth the coins unless you can craft this. And maybe that's why he's not extremely overpowered or extremely good. I, I Potentially because EA know that people will be able to craft this for a fraction of the 300,000 so or coin or so coins that it's going to cost. Um, because you can, you know, like I say, and a lot of it depends on luck, but you can craft this relatively comfortable. An 85 rated squad is relatively easy. The 84 rated squad will be very easy to achieve. Um, the only stumbling block for you, uh, unless you've got lots of the blue cards available already, might well be the blue cards. But even then, that's coming in at only 17,000 coins on PlayStation and 20,000 coins or so on Xbox. So even even like that, that squad is just re like relatively cheap to buy. The other two are 100% craftable. Um, so that that's where... That's kind of where we're at with that. And then we get the mega pack to finish off. There's some promo packs as well. So if there's some good promo packs, I will happily uh, I will happily indulge. We don't get bored out of the mega pack. We did make some more right coins back off of this SBC. You know, we had some pretty good cards. We had uh, 185, 284s. 
Um, so that's not too bad. And then a whole bunch of other stuff that comes along with it as well. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I'm not too displeased with that. And again, I want to keep the major leagues here. I want to keep him. I want to keep him. And the rest of this can go. Um, but what do you guys think about Manalas? Am I being overly critical on my uh, opinion of him? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. So there's some primes and some Serie A primes. Now the Serie A primes, do I want to, do I want to indulge? I tell you what, we'll do one each with coins. If any of them give me a walkout, I'll put some FIFA points on and we'll open all of them. If I get no walkout from either of them, I'm not putting FIFA points on. But here we go with the first one. It's going to be Ria. Oh, no, it's Brahimi. 85 rated, though. He's got the upgrade. Uh, he's one away from a walkout now. So, again, that's a, uh, that is a nice card to get. A 45k pack. I'm not going to make anywhere near the 45k back unless there's also a horde of 84s in here, uh, which there sadly isn't. So, Brahimi is coming in at about 20, maybe 18,000 coins. We can pop him in no problem at all. Um, we'll give someone a little bit of a bargain there. I'm going to save all three of these cards and send everything else into the club. And we'll open as well, as I say, one Serie A Prime Players Pack. Okay, give me a walkout, EA, and I'll spend my money. Do we get one? No, we don't. So that's why I'm not spending my money. We don't even get boards on that one. That is pretty tough. But this, guys, um, is going to be... I did, oh, did I have my face cam over the... the uh, the no i didn't we, we was fine we got a couple of upgrades here i'm going to send all of these shinies to the club uh yeah this is going to be the end of the video guys uh let me know as i say what you guys think about that manalas spc um i think it's good if you can craft it for 100k 120k plus the packs back brilliant if you're spending more than 200,000 coins on this card i would say hold off personally i don't think so uh, but this is going to be the end of the video for me thank you for watching and i'm out peace